What's going on guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Welcome back and if this is your first time watching, thanks for stopping by. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Sviboni SV305. This is a electronic eyepiece or could be even used possibly as a guide camera. What's cool about this camera is it actually has the same chip as the ASI 290 MC camera, which cost a good bit more as opposed to this one, which is uh, less than half the cost. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we have. Okay, so here's the camera. One and a quarter inch threads. Has a nice heft to it. Feels like it's well built. You, and a USB power port in the back there. And it does come with a couple spacers. So you've got a couple spacers here to help get the right back focus, focusing distance. Let's see what else we got in the box. Power cable. A disc with the drivers which actually you can just download from the website which is what I did and then it does have a manual Let's see if any of this is yeah so you got a little manual with a description how to get it set up and going pretty simple setup looks pretty promising though so I know Sviboni markets this camera is like a electronic eyepiece but being that it has the same chip as the 290 MC I thought it could be possible it may be possible to use it as a guide camera as well certainly something I'll look into the camera does have one and quarter inch threads for one and quarter inch filters light pollution filter moon glow filter what have you uh, I can certainly see this being a decent lunar planetary camera yeah so let's get this thing hooked up to a telescope and let's see what it can do So what would you guys think of the footage? Not too bad, huh? Definitely will make a good lunar and daytime terrestrial camera. Also may be good for some planetary work. I don't know if I would recommend this entirely for guiding just yet, just because primarily it's not currently supported by PhD2. So as far as I know, now there may be some other guiding software out there that can support this camera as a guide camera, but I think for now, your best bet would be for guiding to just choose a different camera altogether. But really, for what you get, the value you're getting in this is, is pretty solid. It's pretty nice. It comes in at $149 US dollars and makes a very nice lunar camera, planetary camera, or electronic eyepiece for daytime terrestrial viewing, bird watching, what have you. So that's really it in a nutshell. Some pros and cons. Um, it was a little challenging getting the correct back focus. There really isn't a lot of instruction on that in here, and you're just gonna have to kind of figure it out. I did have to use some spacers. Um, 
I'm not sure what it was in millimeters, but it was probably two, two and a half inches worth of spacers to get the proper back focus when I paired this up with my Maxitov Newtonian telescope. Once I got that worked out, I used, I had this hooked up through SharpCap. I'm sure you can use other software programs as well, but as far as Sviboni is listed on their site, I believe SharpCap is one of the few programs that actually supports this camera currently. So that being said, SharpCap itself is a solid program, and I think you would find yourself, uh, find it a very pretty much simple plug and play device. Not a whole lot to do here. You download the drivers off the website, install them on your laptop, plug in the device via USB and run SharpCap. When you pull up the camera, you'll pull it up under uh, direct show. That is one thing that might mess you up. There will be two options where you can just pull up the SV305 or SV305 under direct show. Direct show is the one you want to use. So that's really it as far as like the little, just little pointers about how to get this thing going. But it overall was pretty simple to set up, easy to use just got to get that back focus correct well guys that's really about it with this camera not a whole lot else to say about it i think it does come in at a good value if you're interested in it i'll put some links down in the description below to where you can purchase the camera also if you are interested in any of the gear that i use or recommend i'll have some other links to some of my favorite retailers where i get my gear uh, including opt telescopes and agena astro so those links will be down in the description as well as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Keep on looking up, keep on seeking, and until next time, clear skies.